So let's now tackle the situation where user has given invalid OTP. So we need to validate these things. So how we can validate? Obviously, we need to create the form request for that. And we can simply say PHP Artisan make request and the request name is uh, OTP request, OTP request. So this is created and now let's open this OTP request. So here we have and authentication has to be true and we will say simple thing that OTP is required. So required super easy things. So here instead of simple request I can say OTP request and that has to be like this request yeah we have imported this so we don't need this one yes we have done that and now what we are doing here we are using request otp that's okay not not a problem so let's verify by running the test and yeah one test fails verify otp test so it is saying error because you can see it says given data was invalid we require OTP but here we are sending capital OTP so that has to be with OTP this is good let's run the test once more the previous test it's failing once more it says given data is invalid because here instead of all these actual key we just want to give the OTP we are just passing the OTP and we don't know what will be the actual cache key so let's run this and we have error which says receive 200 but status code is 302 let's see here we have we are getting that because we are not returning anything so what we can say diane dump of request of otp so let's run the test previous and we are getting the otp that's okay and if we try to get yeah here is the problem so we are getting cache key via this so instead of this we can simply say auth user and i will say otp otp so now if i try to run the test it passes so super easy let's run all the tests yeah every test is passing so this means we have created the request form request so if this is not true we need to show the errors so we can show errors here and that will be like if errors count is greater than zero if it is greater than zero and if then we need to show alert and alert danger and here we will let's say hello for now just for checking purpose okay so uh, login and let's say this thing login here and here yeah, we have some we have another problem we just want whenever the user log out we want this is verified to zero so that at if the user come again then he need to verify once more so for that we need to go to login controller and here we have we have this login attempt but if i go to authenticate user at the bottom we have logout function so let's grab this logout from here and on the login controller let's paste this and before this we need to say the auth user user and then update and updating is verified to zero so in that way whenever user log out it just uh, make the is verified to zero so let's do this i will log out from here and let's see here yeah it is zero so log in once more so sarthak and here we have this so we are getting the otp yeah otp is here copy otp and paste it here verify and yes it says hello we have some kind of error so let's see the error to see the error we need to go here for loop so for each um, errors errors all as error 
and here now we need to echo out error so let's see the result verify okay we need to fill the otp and this says otp field is required so we are sending otp what's the problem here we are giving yeah that has to be capital so name is capital and yeah verify it's not doing anything because now it's it doesn't uh, verify this this the requested otp is not equal to the cached otp because cached otp is valid only for 20 seconds so after that we need to return uh, return back and with error and error name is uh, otp is expired or invalid so this is good so let's once more go back refresh give the old otp otp is expired so what i can do i will just log out obviously we need a button to resend we will do this in next episode so sarthak and secret it will give another otp so wait for this otp so we are getting the otp copy this paste it here Ref verify otp is expired or invalid why is that let's just do this so die and dump this thing and quickly we can see it is null so once more we need to log out from here login sarthak and this we get another otp let's try once more yeah we are getting 401422 yeah, exactly the same so why is giving error maybe because of this so let's once more try yeah we are logged in <laughs> so simple is it is very easy so because of that three equal to sign it's creating the problem so nevertheless we have done that so obviously we don't want this bar obvious uh, also so we don't want to have the logout system so this is good and in the next episode we will implement that resend otp part and then we will proceed to sms and obviously we need to write the tests also so if you have liked this episode please share these videos with your friends subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get instant notification you can follow me on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye